Challenging practice. Question one. GJ is a line and LHK is a right angle. So find the measure of L, H, and J. So over here, we're going to do something. We're going to replace this over here so that we can have a better view. So these are all the dimensions here and this is 155. So now our job is to find the measure of L, J, L, H, J. So L, H, J is actually here. So we have to find this over here. So what is the first step? The first step would be to find this angle over here. And this angle here, we can call it, let's use a darker color. So we're trying to find this angle first. And this angle would be angle K H J, which is 180 minus 155 because angles on the straight line. So this is actually equals to 25 degrees. So this is 25 degrees. And we know that this is a right angle. So therefore angle L H J will have to be 90 subtract 25 degrees. And this would be 65 degrees. So the answer is 65. Now for question two, for question two, we have M N and X Y meeting at O and the measure of A and B are the same. We have to find the measure of angle C. So same thing, we're going to replace all the measurements here. So this is O and this is angle C, which is what we're going to find. And we know that angle A is equals to angle B. Now from here, we know that this is 90 degree. So therefore A plus B also has to be 90 degrees. So A, angle A plus angle B is 90 degrees. And since angle A is equal to angle B, angle A has to be 45 degrees. So we know this is 45 degrees and this is 45 degrees. Angle C and angle B make a straight line. So C plus B must be equal to 180 degrees. So therefore, angle C must be 180 degrees minus 45 degrees, which is equals to 135 degrees. So the answer is 135 degrees. Question three, AC is a line. So we're going to put this over here. So AC is a line and ABE, so ABE is a right angle. So this is a right angle and D, B, F, D, B, F is also a right angle. So this is also a right angle. So our job here is to find angle F, B, C. So F, B, C would be here. So our job is to find this angle over here. So how do we find this angle? So first, this is given as 26 degrees. So what we do know is this is a right angle. So angle D, B, F is a right angle. And since angle D, B, E is equal to 26 degrees, therefore angle E, B, F has to be 90 minus 26, which is 64. So over here, we have 64 degrees. So this is 64 degrees. And we also do know that this is a right angle. So therefore, this two has to be a right angle. So this has to be a right angle as well. So we know, now know that angle EBF has to be also 90 degrees. So therefore angle FBC will have to be 90 minus 64, which is 26. Now let's look at question four. So for question four, we have the following dimensions, W, X, A, B, Y, C. So over here, this is a right angle. This is also a right angle. And we have to 
phi angle A O X A O X which is this angle over here and we also have to find C O Y so C O Y is here so those are the two angles that we define so we have we are given this angle which is 56 degrees so let's solve the first part to solve the first part we will first solve for angle AOX so AOX will have to be 180 minus 56 degrees angles on a straight line so this would be 124 degrees so this will be 124 degrees and next we have to find angle COY to find COY first we have to find YOB so YOB will have to be 90 degrees minus 56 which is 34 degrees so this is 34 degrees so now to find angle COY we have to use 90 degrees minus 34 degrees which would give us back the 56 degrees problem solving is P the same as R plus S so we have P over here R and S are here so yes it is true because they are what you call it opposite angles next one we have angle S is it is it the same as P minus R so we're gonna have this and P is here and R and S are here so R and S are here so is S the same as P minus R no that's not true so this is false next one angle Q is Q the same as 180 minus P so Q will be here so Q will be here and P will be here so yes that's true because P and Q will be 180 and the last one R and S is it the same as P plus Q so R and S so this is P this is Q and R and S are here so will R and S be equals to P and Q no it's not true next one we have question number two so we have to find the sum of AOC which is this FOD FOD would be this and BOE so BOE will be here so in this case we know that BOE is the same as AOF because they're vertically opposite angles so therefore the sum of AOC FOD and BOE will be 180 degrees problem solving question 3 ABCD is a square BE is a ray find the measure of angle X so we're trying to find the angle X over here we know that sum of angles at a point is 360 degrees so therefore angle X would be 360 degrees minus this is 90 90 degrees minus 135 degrees so that will be the answer next for question 4 how many degrees does the hour hand of a clock turn between 3 o'clock and 7.30 p.m. so we have the clock over here these are the hours so what we know is for one round that is 360 degrees so for half a round you will be 180 degrees so from here from 12 all the way to the digit 6 that will be 180 degrees and if we are dividing by 6 this would be 30 degrees so now let's do our math from 3 o'clock to 7.30 so from here to 7.30 which is midway between 7 and 8 so it will be 30, 60, 90, 120 and then we are adding 15 more so let's see so we are going to have 1, 2, 3, 4 4 times 30 plus 
half times 30, which is 120 plus 15, which is 135 degrees. Question 5. A, B is a line. The measures of A and B are whole numbers. If the measure of B is twice the measure of A, find the measures of A and B. So over here, we have angle A, that's one unit, angle B, that's two units, and together it is 180 degrees. So three units will be 180 degrees, so one unit will be equal to 60 degrees. So therefore, A will be 60 and B will be 120.